Okay, uh, it's been a while since I did a video and uh, just got finished with a um, purse and wallet. Uh, was a bit challenging, um, very rewarding, and learned some things. That was a good thing. All in all, I'm really hoping she enjoys it. Uh, so, today what I'm going to be doing is uh, showing you how I make my patterns uh, when I'm designing something. Um, and this is me just, as far as you can get today, uh, kind of rough. <laughs> uh, got plenty of coffee. Have backup coffee. <laughs> But anyhow, um, so yeah, I smoke and um, I was like, you know, I was driving home this after uh, today, and I was like, you know, why don't you make yourself a cigarette case? You know, I remember when I was a kid, they were everybody had one. Just if you smoked, especially the ladies. Uh, I remember my uh, grandmother had this one that had a little snap on the top of it, and uh, I liked it play with a snap when I was a kid. But um, and then there was the metal ones, which I really actually loved the metal ones. They had the little slide on the top. Um, I think some brand of cigarette actually kind of did that, where you could rip off just the corner right here and uh, pull your cigarette out. Uh, I had one for years and it turned up missing. I don't know. Anyway, things happen. So, um, as I said, I was, I was thinking about, you know, making myself a case. Um, and so I came home and I was like, well, what do I want it to look like? And uh, once you get that down, then you got to draw out the pattern for it, you know. Uh, do I want snaps? I mean, there's a lot. Of, there's, uh, do I want snaps on it? Do I want uh, to put a pocket for the lighter? Why wouldn't I? Do I want it on the front, the back, the side? Where do I want that? Uh, do I want a way that it can maybe be on my belt? I don't normally carry a purse. Um, they're just easy, too easy to steal. It's just, and also too a wallet, guys. <sighs> You know, most people don't expect a woman to wear, to, to have a wallet, so uh, that makes me a little bit less vulnerable. And uh, if I'm in a situation to where I feel like that's a big crowd, well, with COVID that doesn't happen, but, you know, um, I, I'll take my wallet out and actually put it in my front pocket. You know, um, it's a lot, it just, because it's, you don't normally carry it in your front pocket, uh, you may, you're more aware of it, and so you'd be more aware immediately if someone took it. Whereas in your back pocket, somewhere you always wear it, um, you know, you may not notice for a second or two. Anyway, that's my little safety tip. <laughs> I'm always looking at for ways to to be a little bit more safe. So this is the process, and um, let me go ahead and turn this down so you can see what I'm doing. I'll let the light. All right, so the first thing I did, if you notice, is I drew this little box. And uh, let me get the cigarette out of the way. Okay, so I drew a little box, and, and I, I, I'm, I like snaps. I'm, I'm a snap lover, so I wanted a snap. And I wanted something simple, just a simple little box design. Um, I, I, you know, it's for me. Um, I don't mind boxes. <laughs> it is a box, so why not? And um, then I decided, you know, I was thinking about putting the lighter on the side, but I don't know. I'm not really all that nuts about that idea. So I was like, well, I'll just stick it in the back, you know. Maybe it'll always be there. Just, you know, that's a... I don't know. Anyway, I decided to put one on the back. I might actually do one on the side. Oh, that kind of looks cool. 
Anyway, this is the design I'm going to go with right now. All right, so the first thing I did is you got to, you can either measure this out and where's my, mm, it's underneath. There it is. I knew it was here somewhere. I still got to clean up from the project, but anyway. Um, so you can do this number. You can measure it out and transfer that. And Why? You got the cigarettes right there, you know? And I can give you the dimensions if you want them. Um, I guess this would be a free pattern. I don't see any reason why not. Why not? A free pattern. So, uh, well, I'll go ahead and measure it out then. I'm going to do that. So that is, oh god, I hate the sixteenths. That is two and three sixteenths. And for y'all that are uh, fractionally challenged, such as myself, that's three lines past the two. Hey, sometimes I do it that way. <laughs> so that'll be uh, the width. And then you've got the height. Is now this is a, the 99s, the 100s, and obviously you'd make it shorter for the little kings. That's four inches. Okay, so uh, we got four by let's say two and three sixteenths. Okay, but we're not finished yet. Now what we need to do, because I'm obviously covering this, so what I need to do is stop and think. Okay, what all do I need to cover? And how? See, that's another thing. How do I cover it? Um, what I've decided to do is just a simple wrap around. So it is, it is simple. Um, it'll just wrap around and be sewn to the back. That's so, but to do that, now I need to know what is this depth. See, it's right there. I mean, I'm still blind as a bat. <laughs> so, our depth. Oh, here we go again. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eighths of an inch. And the eighths, because this is, this is baffling to me. And so, I, I'm not belittling anyone, but I, I want to show you. Rest my hand on my coffee pot so it won't be a little shaky. The little bitty one, the first one, that's your 16th. Okay. Your next one will be your eighth. So if you're counting, see, if you're counting the little ones, you're going to count these also. So one, two, if you counted all the little tick marks, there'd be 16 all together. So there's, that's where I come up with the sixteenths. And if you uh, measure the eighths, the eighths would be this second mark. That's one eighth of an inch right there. All right. So I'd go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Watch. Ah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's your eighths. Oh, sorry. Um, then you have quarter inch, half inch, three quarters of an inch. So, a little education there. Because I get it mixed up all the time. I sometimes just count the little dots. You know, I, I'm, I have really good days that I know everything. I think my, you know, it, it comes to me really easily and I have other days that things don't come to me easily. And so, you know, like I said, I'm not trying to belittle anybody or like that, but you know, this is sometimes difficult for me. And so I wanted to kind of pass that tip on. So we said that that was, oh Lord, uh, seven eighths. Okay. So we have seven eighths of an inch there. All right. So I've got this measurement. I've got, yeah, this measurement, this measurement, and now this measurement. All right. 
Well, this measurement is also going to be the same 7 eighths of an inch down here. So this is 7 eighths. Um, this is 7 eighths. 7 eighths because these are the sides. You know, that's my 4 inch there, and that's my 2 and 3 sixteenth inch there. Now, this part here is the flap, so I'm going to have to determine how high I want the flap to come up because the flap is actually going to be coming straight up here. So it'll enclose this, but I don't want it really, really tight. So I'm going to give myself a little bit of room there um, and do my 7 8 of an inch. Okay. And then I'll measure down. How far do I, down do I want do I want the snap to come onto the body that's covering this? So that's a little rough cut here. Now what we're going to do is do this exact thing, but on a full piece of paper because I need a full piece of paper because this is actually the pattern that I'm going to be cutting out. So I need to decide at this point. I need to decide how far up do I want to, do I want this to start this part here okay and I could copy this design and have it this far up and only the filter showing which I guess I guess I could do that I don't really like copying people's stuff but okay so I'm gonna start here so what I'm gonna do is I'm literally going to sit the cigarettes down right here in the center somewhere. There we go. And I'm going to mark this out. Okay, so there's my front. I can go ahead and put front on there. All right. Now, what I need to decide is am I going to have the flaps going down to be sewn on the back or do I want to take the have the flaps come from the back to the front? I'm going to sit, sit there and think for a second. How do I want that? I think I'm going to do it on the front. And the reason being is, uh, well, have them come to the front because I can do a decorative stitch down, you know, down this. And and I, I like stitches. I like the pretty stitches. So um, I think I'll do that. So what I'm going to do now is, because I'm not going to have the flaps going down, I don't have to worry about sides. And I'll show you why in a second. <laughs> well, because the flaps are kind of going to come down to, to it. All right. So now um, there's my front. I'm literally just going to pop it up and on its butt. And well, this is going to be a little fiddly because it's seven eighths of an inch. So there's my bottom. All right, so far so good. You still with me? I hope so. All right, now, because this is, this is literally all we've done. We've taken our box. We've taken our box here, measured here. Now we're going to measure the, the entire full length. All right. And it's actually not going to be this tight, guys. All I'm doing now is just, this is just a rough, this is actually just a mirror, uh, an image of this. That's all I'm doing. Okay, so now I've got this. Now I have to put my sides on here. I need to come out 7 eighths of an inch on each side. This is exact measurements. When I do the actual cutting of the leather, I will increase that by a quarter inch on each side. Um, the reason being is I need a seam allowance. 
So I have to add in my seam allowance also. So now I've got another 7 eighths, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, well, just about 5. That's why I like doing it on the graph paper, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's about 5. It's not going to be perfect. But, you know, sometimes I get pretty freaking close. <sighs> All those uh, construction builds, doing tile. <laughs> <laughs> it all comes in play. Okay, so now I've got the top. Now I need to figure out just how far do I want this to come down to hit here. Because I want my snap. Now this I'm actually going to measure. I'm going to put my snap down three quarters of an inch. Because that will allow me to decorate the front. It will give me plenty of room to decorate. So um, that's my three quarter of an inch. I don't know where the center is on this thing. I <laughs> guess we could find that. Oh, we could if we didn't have that thing. Okay. So well, some centers about here. So let's do center there. It's not perfect. It'll be cleaned up once I start actually doing it. Okay, so, like I said, I've got this. Now I need to figure out how long, how, how far do I want this to come down? Well, I've got three quarters of an inch here. So, what I need to do, because I measured from this area, I can go right here to the top, go down three quarters of an inch. Well, let's see. I need to go at least down three quarters of an inch past this point. So that's one inch. So this is where my snap's going to be. You see that? My snap will be right here. Well, in the center of this. And I'm going to go ahead and go down to two. Because that way the snap isn't just at the very edge of the, the leather. It, that'll pull out. you got to give it a little Got to give it some meat, man. I mean, it's only holding cigarettes, but still, I don't want my um, snap to, to rip out. So I said, what did I say? Lord. Uh, let's see, one and, three, one and three quarters. So, ooh, our paper's just close enough. <laughs> so, I mean, long enough, close enough. Okay, there we go. There's that. And now we need to add our 7 eighths of an inch flaps here on both sides. And because it's so much easier just to do it this way, I'm going to do it this way. I'll mark, mark there. Oh, what happened there? So you don't really have to be great at math. To make your own patterns, uh, especially if you already have something that you you can draw from, um, hang on, I need some more lead there. All right, um, but you do. There's cheats. I am um, fortunate enough to have an engineer <laughs> at the ready and a lot of times I'll be like hey babe what's half of some weird number um, <laughs> thankfully he's got my back all right so this is basically my pattern um, I'm gonna go down here And go down a quarter of an inch. And that's where my snap's going to be. I, you know, I might bring that down.
right, so now what I need to do is come come back in here, and unfortunately, I don't have the room on this paper. But I'm going to come back in, and we're just going to pretend this is a quarter of an inch. I'm just going to do a little dotted line there. Um, so I need to add everywhere I'm going to stitch. I need to add the seam allowance. Allowance. You know what? I don't think I'm going to sew the bottom. I don't know. Anyway, so I mean, like, you can sit here and design forever. But that's how I basically make up my patterns. Um, if I wanted a, a wallet, um, I would do pretty much the same thing. I would say, okay, um, I like trifolds. Um, this is the very first wallet I ever made. Trifold. Let's make sure there's no identifying information. Um, I, I just happen to love these. Um, but say I wanted just a regular billfold you know how long do I want it well that's easy grab a, a bill out of your wallet and lay it down and say okay well that's how long it is uh, I know I'm gonna need a seam allowance so no you need a little bit on the top but there's not um, so just kind of trace around it and you have your dimensions of your the outside and the inside of your wallet. Then you know I want pockets over here. Um, let's see, there's the center line. That's important. So my pockets are going to come out here to my center line. You know, um, and then I can do pockets through here. Uh, this will be open right here because that'll allow the money to come through. So I need I need a back piece. I need um, pockets. I'm also going to need something for the pockets to be attached to. So let's call it the inner piece. So you know there's there's my wallet. Uh, there's my dimensions right off of the bill. Uh, for your pockets, grab a um, grab a credit card. <laughs> it's the same size as a credit card, and go around them. You know that's how wide your pocket should be. Um, you want to be able to get the, get it out. So you know you're going to come down probably half an inch. You know so. You only need it. You don't need it the full length. You just need it from here to here. You know, so it's pretty simple. Um, but just, you know, stop and think about how everything comes together. And um, it's me and his camera. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, if you take your time and, you know, grab a couple items, you know, trace them around. You know, uh, if you don't have. Um, a measuring tape, which I actually do, but I'm thinking maybe some kitty cats maybe absconded with it again. Then get a piece of string, you know. I mean, it doesn't have to have numbers on it. All you got to do is be able to go from here to here and say, okay, it's this long. Um, so, you know, don't let not having the right tools, so to speak, limit you. Uh, find other ways around it. Um, now there are some tools you just you have to have. You know, um, I was doing everything with this this guy. <sighs> Finally upgraded, um, but start where you can. Don't don't let it limit you. Uh, there are some things that, that you're going to have to bite the bullet and spend the money on. But um, I highly encourage people to to think outside of you know, this tool or that tool, you know, and um, think about, well, I don't have a tape measure, but I got string, you know, um, I don't have the wallet, but I have a 
you know, a dollar bill and I have a credit card. And so, you know, things of that nature. So, anyway, uh, I just want to kind of share my little brainstorming thing with y'all. And I hope everybody has a good day. And, and you might be able to hear the Christmas music. I'm, I'm trying to get in the mood because I'm looking at the Christmas stuff behind, you know, in front of me behind y'all. And I'm um, thinking about going ahead and doing the Christmas thing early. I think this year we need it. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> so, everybody have a blessed day. Love y'all.